All right, guys, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend, and I gotta mow the backyard. I'm gonna be mowing at one inch. I'm probably gonna have to double cut, so I'm gonna see how much that takes off and go from there. I know Connor likes to break the one-third rule, but I'm a little nervous. You know, I like to follow rules and obey the law and all that stuff, but that guy is a little crazy, so we'll give it a shot, and then I might either go over at the same height or take it down a tiny bit again, depending on how it looks, and go from there. And of course, I'm using the Swordman. Look at that thing. It just looks so cool. Um, I'm gonna be using that real mowing at one inch. Now, I have Kentucky bluegrass and perennial ryegrass back here. The varieties I use are designed to be cut at below an inch, so that's why I'm doing that. Uh, I wouldn't suggest just going and cutting your, your, your lawn super low unless you know the varieties you use can withstand that type of cutting. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, so not bad. I'm gonna have to go over it again. There are bits that it just can't vacuum up, so I'm gonna have to go at a different angle and see if it'll get it that way. But I wanted to try something. I left some area totally overgrown, and I'm gonna mow now with it back and forth without the grass catcher, and hopefully we'll see whether it cuts or folds the blades down. Because uh, one of the differences uh, between a real mower and a rotary mower, the rotary mower can you know, suck it up even if it's super tall and just chop it up into a billion pieces. So let's see. You can see that it's not really cutting it because it's just too long. You can see this, just how long, so that front roller rolls it down and it's so long that it's going past the reel here and the roller still has it down. And then by the time the next roller's there, it's pushing it down again. So one of the flaws or downsides or whatever you want to call it of a reel mower is you got to keep up with the grass otherwise you just can't cut it with the reel and you're going to have to use a rotary mower uh, to cut it and then get it back down with the reel mower so it's something to think about um, if you have one you got to keep on top of it that's why i'm going to try the growth regulator so it should slow down the growth i mean in the springtime that's when it's the most difficult uh, summer and fall it should be just fine but it's uh, something that, you know, if you jump all in and then think you're not gonna mow for a week or two, and you're just gonna be able to go in there, that's not gonna work. So uh, plan accordingly, and uh, that's why if you notice, Connor will uh, mow like every other day, sometimes every day. Um, he's, he's hardcore, and uh, I, I was trying to be, but I got super busy this year, so just gonna have to use the, uh, the growth regulator and hope that's enough, and hope we stop getting so much rain. Um, so, I guess I'm gonna go over, can't see the stripes from here. Uh, I'm gonna go over the lawn again in a different direction. That'll help when it's still short, but it's just a little bit long. Going two different directions is usually enough to uh, 
cut it all up. Just like when you're using a rotary, sometimes you get to double cut it. Uh, but when it gets super long like this, yeah, I guess I could take the trimmer to it and just trim it down and then go over it. Something to think about. So hard to see on the screen anything, but you can see the diamonds. Pretty cool. Now I gotta trim. Ugh. I hate trimming. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.